In this video, I'm going to talk about the Canvas Commons. Canvas Commons is kind of like iCloud, or you hear people say, like, I just put it in the cloud. It's just a place that stores a bunch of stuff, and you don't have to worry about it being on your desktop. It's just the cloud, All right? So the common, Canvas Commons is very similar to that. So I'm going to show you in this video how to download something from the Commons, import it into one of your courses, or, um, or also I'm going to show you how to export something from your course to the Commons if you want to share it with your team members or uh, you can also share it with just yourself just so it's up in that cloud just in case something happens and you lose it, you can always get it back. Okay, so first thing I'm going to show you what the Canvas Commons looks like. So on your global navigation bar, click Commons. It will take you to the Commons. Up in the left corner you see it says Canvas Commons and this is like that cloud. Okay, so if I want to search for something specific, I will type it in this bar right here. You can search by the title of the assignment, the name of the person who made it. You can also search like Freedom Academy, the institution, or uh, different tags that people have attached to those assignments. Um, in my opinion, the easiest way to find something that somebody maybe on your team made uh, is just typing in their name. Okay, if you are just wanting to search for something math related, very generic, so I'm probably not actually going to find what I want, but I can just type in math and I can see all of these things that have math in the title. Okay, so look, someone uploaded a course, someone uploaded an assignment, a module, uh, these are all courses, a quiz, so you can pretty much upload anything to Canvas Commons. Okay, you can download anything from Canvas Commons as well. So again, courses, assignments, modules, quizzes, you can upload anything, okay? So you can type in the title or the name of the person, also the institution. Um, if I am searching for something, I've downloaded several things. So I'm gonna type in Lauren Moon to the Canvas Commons and then I can look at all the assignments that I have made, okay? This is important, write down my name because you are going to download the templates that I made for you, okay? So down here, if you're a specialty teacher, you're going to want the FPA specialties template. You are going to download that, okay? If you are uh, just a whole, like a regular teacher, uh, elementary teacher, you're gonna have a science class, a social studies class, a language arts class, and a math class. So you are going to have to download all four of these courses, okay? I've made the template for you, so all you have to do is download it, okay? So let me show you the way to do that. If you are, so again, you go to Canvas Commons, you type in my name, Lauren Moon, and then you find which one you want. So let's say we want the social studies one. Click on the actual course, and it will take you to the template. You can preview it, you can look at all the things that are in um, the module, or in the course. There are modules, pages, discussions, files, and then you will hit import or download. Okay, it will show up. Uh, with all of your courses, you are just going to have a social studies course, a science course, a language arts course, and a math course. I have a bunch of other stuff. Um, but you will just choose whenever um, the secretaries and administration has figured out who's going to be in your class, then they will send you your course. They will make the course for you. And all you're going to do is you're going to download or upload this course into your course. Okay, so if this is my social studies course right here, it will say Miss Moon Social Studies class. That's the one that I'm going to upload this template into. Okay, so right now you can't do this because you don't have your students for next year. You don't have your course yet, but when you do, that's how you'll do it. You'll check it and then you'll just hit import to course. I don't actually want to import it, so I'm not going to, but that's how you would do it. Okay, so again, type in, go to comments, type in my name, scroll down, find the course, import it. Okay, now let me explain to you how to export something into Canvas Commons. So let's say I have a course, uh, let's go to Language Arts, and I let's say I just made this really cool module, whoops, module, and I want to upload it to the Canvas Commons so that all of my coworkers can download it and they can use the same thing. Okay, this is the template. I just deleted everything from it, so it doesn't actually have any modules that I've made, um, but let's pretend this teacher module is something with language arts. So I will click these three dots on the side, and I will click Share to Commons. 
When in doubt, click the three dots on the side. That will give you more information and you're able to do a lot more <laughs> with those three dots. So I'm gonna hit share to commons. You are going to have a lot of things, a lot of questions that you kind of have to go through. So who can access this? Um, I always make them public just because I don't care if somebody uses it. If I put work into it, I want everyone to be able to use it, but it's totally up to you. If you only want yourself to see it, maybe you're afraid it will somehow get deleted. So you just want to put it in the comments so that if it does get deleted, you can find it again. You can do that. If you just want freedom to be able to see it, you can do that. Totally up to you. Um, you are going to have to put a description. Um, I'm just going to put that for right now. And then you are going to have to find a picture. Um, this, you can just type in here, search for different pictures. Um, yeah, that looks great. We'll use that. You don't have to do this part down here. You can always leave it, kindergarten through graduate student. But it just makes it a lot easier. If it's a third grade lesson, just type third, put third grade so that it helps other teachers. If you're sharing it with them, they'll know, oh, this is for third grade. Okay, and then I'm going to hit share. I'm not actually going to share this, um, but you can. Just hit share and then it will show up in the comments. So if I did hit share right here and then I went to the comments and typed in my name, I would see teacher module do not publish as one of the modules that I've published, which is kind of ironic. Okay, so that is how you upload or export something to the commons. And then if you go to the commons on the side and you search a name or a title and then hit import, that's how you will get something into your course. So you can send things to the commons and you can download things from the commons. Okay, that is all the information that you need. Again, remember, you will type in Lauren Moon into Canvas Commons to be able to find your FPA templates for your classes that you'll be teaching, but you cannot do that yet until you have a course. Okay, you don't have a course yet until you get the students that you'll be that will be in your class for next year. Then you will administration will make those courses for you and share them with you. So don't do it yet, but just remember that eventually you will have to do that. Okay, I hope this was helpful. This is the last video um, that I'm making. You'll do one more training about Nearpod. That will be really quick. And then you'll be done with the Canvas training. So good luck on the quiz and on the next module. And then you'll be done. You're so close. See you later.